What's the only thing more intense than a boss battle? How about a double boss battle? This month on d d Minus. Roll for initiative. Look how fast I was. Four. Motherfucker. Actually, I, w- I was also four. 24. Anna, roll again. Me and you. No. No, no. We're, this, is, this is not a, this is not a roll off. Tiebreaker. R- rock, paper, scissors. Not how it works. I've, One, two, wait, wait, wait. three. What did you say? The tiebreaker is, usually is the initiative. So, um, Heath, what's your initiative? Zero plus zero. Well, then the, the, I go before you. Wait, what's your initiative? Plus one. Seems like I should go first because I actually rolled something higher, technically. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Eli, what, 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 is, what, what happens? The app is going to do it automatically. <laughs> 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 All right. Claw, you are up first. Okay. Does anybody remember the last time we fought Murloc Gnomes, what we did? Are, I, are we fighting Murloc Gnomes? All I remember is that we can act. Oh, my goodness. I thought we we're fighting Cress. No, I thought we were fighting both of them. You're fighting both yeah, of them. Yeah, both of them. Oh, Cress and Murloc I... and maybe a dragon are here? Well. There's no dragon. No dragon There's yet. a dragon. Yeah, There's no dragon a dragon. Yet. Yeah, that, that, that was really. There's like a, a Rancor dragon in a cage, like right below us. <laughs> oh, the password to the big, dark, spooky cave is going to be dragon, and there's not going to be a fucking dragon on the other side. Oh, get your head out of your ass. There's obviously it. a dragon. All being deleted. God. You're going to be so surprised. Liar. I just remember we... Like kicked Murloc Gnomes' ass last time. You did. So you I'd... threw a vase full of your dead mom at him. Do you have any of that going on? <laughs> oh, God, I remember that. Oh, didn't we get saved by a librarian bird? I mm-hmm. the bird. The bird came. The chicken from the library. <laughs> but like we were kicking his ass before that. <laughs> yeah, she mm-hmm. came in like as a plot thingy, not yeah, like yeah. as though we were <laughs> losing. <laughs> we absolutely loosened the jar on that guy. Deus ex bok walking out. Remember? Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I I would know that last time we could do fireball, but now we're not in. Um, okay, okay, yeah, just saying. I eventually did a fireball. No, no, we spent a really long time convincing you not to kill the entire. No, you, court. we did spend a long time <laughs> telling me not to do that, and then I eventually was able to do a fireball after we like moved it. We something. Oh, moved. that's right, you were able to do it. it, uh, it like one, it, it was big deal. It was one of my own. Oh yeah, you did ever. it higher, and then it was like yeah. a daffy yeah. duck. The ashes fall down. Thing I remember. Thank you. Now. It's not because he was immune to fire, though, right? It was just a random... No, it was that there were too many innocent bystanders for me to do right. it right next, like, on I... a regular level. Does anyone have any new podcasts they'd like to do, or should we just go over <laughs> from, from the beginning? Well, I was just making sure, because I think I'm going to use the Fist of the Elements, but I wanted to make sure it wouldn't get canceled. Ooh. Adnan's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. So I am going to do... <laughs> Let me look it up really quick. Hang on. I haven't, I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. You actually haven't used it ever. You activated it once on the shin splints fight and then didn't actually use it. Yep, that sounds like me. So where's everybody standing, by the way? We got Cress <laughs> and we got Murloc Gnomes and we got my mom strung up on like a plinth. No, she's on a... She's on a table. She's on a table. Okay. Like a little little feeding dish. Yeah. Imagine that it says Fluffy on, on the edge of it. <laughs> okay, that's the name of the Rancor Dragon? Sure. Got it. First, I'm del- one that's edited out because you're going to be surprised by the fucking dragon. <laughs> 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 Two, no, it's just a sacrificial altar. Okay. I and it has on the other side. Good boys get treats. Is Cress wearing armor? He's wearing like a leather studded vest that you can see. Okay, that doesn't help. That's fine. So I'm going to do. I'm going to activate Fist of the Elements, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to. Find the key thing that allows me to dodge. Hang on. Patient defense. I'm going to cast patient defense so that I can dodge if anybody attacks me. Fantastic. All right, Snedrick, you are up next. All right, I'm just going to go big first off. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave from the one to seven parts. Fuck yeah. Nice. (laughs) And I don't think anybody needs me to 
explain that one, but it's a big thunderous force that sweeps out from me. And then a 15 foot cube originating from where I want to throw it as uh, I'm going to take people out with 3d8 thunder damage and they will be pushed 10 feet away from me if they can't make a constitution saving throw. All right. Fantastic. And they're both within what was it? 15. Yeah. They're both within 15 feet of each other. Right. Yeah. All right. How far away are we from them? Hey, it's a 25 foot circle. So you're 25 feet away. I would say. All right. So wait, what's beyond the circle? Is it just a wall beyond there? Or is it like a big drop off? Big drop I'm, off into a cave. Okay, Cause I, Cause I'm going to be like throwing them back if I'm successful. I know. Okay. Fuck yeah. Nice. Might be a really fucking quick episode. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> They're going to get eaten by the dragon that we don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chris saves. And Murloc saves. And I've decided that Dave's mom is tied down. So that she doesn't go <laughs> flying off into the abyss. <laughs> Good call. Good call. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> All right. So they take half of. Oh, Jesus. That was shit. Oh, no, no. That's, that's not bad. Half of 17 damage. Yes. So that would be... It's a niner. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Eli. I didn't mean to make you math. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it. A little, little help here. A little help. <laughs> um, all right. Nine damage for each of them. Anything else? Are you going to move? Any other actions? I don't think I have other... I don't know. If, if there are other actions I can take, I am not aware of them. So, no. All righty. Murloc is up next. You're all gathered together. He is going to cast Lightning Bolt. Some copy and ass bullshit. It's a lot of lightning going around. Just did that. I have some fucking originality. Basic magic the gathering. Everybody has four of them. <laughs> he says, I think you'll find my improvements since our last battle electrifying. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I that wasn't know. even good. Fuck you. No, but I, it's better than I didn't even think of one. Damn. Shit. Yeah. Make a dexterity saving throw. Everybody. Even with the dodge action? You just get advantage on yours. 10. Oh, that's a nat 20. Oh, fuck. That's a three. Dave, still feeling the capoeira, dives out of the way. I also do a, a sweet move with like a, a bit like a head spin and a kick thing. Mm -hmm. 15. Nice. Oh, right. You had, you had advantage on it. I was mm -hmm. like, I saw that. I know, right? Yeah. That, Morgan. Gonna keep going. No one's gonna say anything. <laughs> I will. I'll keep it to myself, but I want you to know. I <laughs> All right. So, Claw, you save, and you're actually going to take zero damage because of your new monk powers. Dave, I'll give you zero damage because of that natural twenty and those capoeira skills. Snedrick and Bridget, <laughs> you are going to take eight d six worth of damage. Oh, what? oh, shit. If they're all ones, this is going to be pretty bad yeah. for my overall. <laughs> it's looking like a 28. Total. 30 damage. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Snedrick, you dead? Uh, no, I still have 14. All right. Next up is Cress. Cress is going to come for you, Claw. He's going to make two short sword attacks. Uh, that's an 11. 11 does not hit. And a 21. That does. Does the dodge action weigh in at all? Or oh, no? yeah. He has disadvantage. And that's a 13. Does not hit. Does not hit. All right. Then, yeah, he swings over you twice with his little fencing foil. Twice. Slash, slash. And he uh, misses you. Dave's better at swords than you are. I've seen him. Face. <laughs> Water crest. <laughs> how, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Finger sandwich ingredient. Stupid name. He's not great, but he's better than you. So just saying. That's no. It's a weird disclaimer to add to your taunt. <laughs> That's fine. But he does look a little crestfallen, though, doesn't he? <laughs> not cr cres <laughs> Similar sound. Like a beautiful, delicate little chrysanthemum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crest your little heart. You try. <laughs> Chris, you got nothing. You're getting you're getting shot on so hard. I really, right? honestly, I was not prepared for how many puns went for my name. Chris, you were. Mm. <laughs> Jesus, Chris. <laughs> Hashtag Chris. <laughs> Did we lose Eli? No, Bridget, you're up. I, I, oh, I said yeah. you were. <laughs> he's wallowing. No, I was loving. No, he I, was doing on the math on a Chris pun, and he's just like, I don't get it. <laughs> 
silence. <laughs> Crest toothpaste. There's something there. Work on it. Workshop it. All right. Chris. <laughs> Power of Chris compels you. Oh, he's really one of the upper crest. Oh, the here. power of Chris compels you would have been excellent. Mm-hmm. I'm saving that one. I'm doing it. Well, she just did Jesus Christ, though. That's I did. Just a, it would be a rephrasing I mean, of. It would have been something. Don't limit Eli. He doesn't need limitations. Thank you, Morgan. Fuck. <laughs> Chris yeah. and. Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cast Gust of Wind. Sure. Read that spell description. I don't think you've done that one before. All right. A line of strong wind, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide, blasts from you in a direction you choose for the spell's duration, which is one minute on concentration. Each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away from you in a direction following the line. Any creature in the line must spend two feet of movement for every one foot. It continues when moving closer to you. All right. I don't mean to brag, but I have a more powerful fart spell than yours. Mine is called <laughs> Warding Wind. Ooh, my goodness. Nice. All right. Murloc saves. Fuck. But Crest does not. He gets pushed back 15 feet. Excellent. So this wind erupts from you and slams Crest back into the altar. And Dave's mom, like, scratches at his face a little bit with her free hand. She's like, eh, eh, eh. Nice. Good work, mom. Fuck you. I got him, honey. Fuck you. I got him. <laughs> you helped. Yes, you did. You're the best. He didn't want to come save you. I couldn't think of a Christmas. Oh, gosh. I hate to hear it. <laughs> no, that was it. I, I had forgotten that. I thought you. Uh, uh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Normal amount. Right amount. <laughs> Dave, you're up next. <laughs> I would like to summon Carl the Bug Peghorn. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. The golden chain on your wrist glows and Carl the Pug of Peghorn appears at your side. Yo, Carl, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah, so you, you see what's going on here? We're fighting uh, this guy, Chris. Chris, the sword there, Chris and, uh, good to see you. And, Hello, uh, squid, Carl. The squid guy. <laughs> and Marlock, Marlock, how you doing? Hello, yeah. Carl. You, you guys remember Carl? Yeah, so, uh, Carl, you think you could, um, I feel like, attack the uh, the squid guy? The squid guy? Yeah. All right, just one of the old the old horn in the uh, pee hole, uh, the usual. Yeah, you you th- you feel like horn in the dick's been working pretty good for you so far. I mean, horn in the dick is the play du jour. It is our uh, it's <laughs> Bill Belichick's favorite play. <laughs> what cricket picker play action? Deflate uh, yeah. gate, something about deflate. <laughs> deflate right? Yeah, no, deflate if we, gate. Yeah, if I if stab you him deflate in the, the balls, balls, you can deflate right, the, the balls. balls if you go for the dick in the balls. Right, but it should be a one-liner. It should be like, "This is a deflate gate." Then, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go attack him now. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll workshop the, we'll uh, the workshop pun thing to go with that. But yeah, we, deflate gate, do it. All right, Carl is that's a 19, which yeah. I believe will hit. Yes, that will hit four. Five points of damage. So no, not a not a ball hit, but he like he he does a bad vasectomy on him. You hear kind of a sound. No, no, he doesn't <laughs> pop the ball. I'm saying he just does like a he gets a hematoma <laughs> on his ball. Oh, okay. For like a month, and everyone's super unsympathetic about it. He just walks around with kind of a waddle yeah, for a while. Fucking stupid chalk strap. <laughs> All right, Carl's turn is over. <laughs> Carl, nice work. Are you going to stay stuck in there for, uh, for yeah, a minute? Yeah, is he stuck? You're is he stuck, stuck inside the room for a bit. No, okay, perfect. You can think about that fun. <laughs> that should be like a disadvantage of some kind. <laughs> it's a real crest down here, let me tell you. <laughs> no, what? there it is. <laughs> huh? There it is. Chris. Claw, you're up. All right. I am going to do two unarmed strikes. Oh, where, are you, where are you going? You going to crest or are you going to... Crest, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like Cress Cress is just a guy with a sword and it's a foil which has like a little button on the end. I feel like it's not dangerous. <laughs> well, he at took all. off the button to fight you guys. <laughs> Did, he? Did he? Yeah. I didn't remember that happening. The button was only ever put on so that people could not kill each other in yeah. tournaments. Okay, so Cress has a but it's still it's like a very light yeah, kind of shitty weapon. Yeah, he's the aristocracy. He's not a fucking warrior. I feel like you go after Merlin. My the reason I'm going after Cress is I'm assuming the sword is metal, right? Yes. Okay. So the first strike, the first two strikes I'm going to do normal. I'm just going to... He's got a magnet. How did he get a magnet? (laughs) No, I have a lightning fist, (laughs) which does double damage. That's right. So the first two unarmed strikes, I'm going to do regular. I'm just going to like, you know, punch, punch. 
But for my bonus action, I'm going to try and like channel the lightning down from my fist down his sword and try and get him to like to like burn his hand and drop the sword. Fuck yes, love it. That's solid. I'm picturing like a Joe Pesci jump punch from Absolutely. Michael. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so first two regular unarmed strikes. Yes, please. Hey, critical. Oh, yes. Woo! <laughs> that is brutal. 27. Oh, not as good. 12. Okay. Roll that damage. Don't forget to double your dice on that. Uh, okay. Eight damage. And then for that third special request, first of all, make a unarmed strike for me. That's just going to be whether or not you can grab the blade. 20. 20. Yep. That'll do it. Boom. And then how does that lightning damage work? If the fist deals lightning damage and targets a creature wearing metal armor or, you know, like a metal thing, the wearer makes the attack roll with advantage. Don't know that there's any actual damage difference for lightning. Okay. So I'll tell you what, roll the damage like that was a regular unarmed strike and we'll double the damage. Not the dice, but the actual damage. Cool. A three plus four is seven. Seven. So that's 14 lightning damage. So you miss with one fist, you land with the other, you grab the sword. Do you say any cool shit? Nope. Nope. You just and what? then you just <laughs> Crest you up. Lightning comes scorching down your arms into Crest and he gets shocked backward once again into the plinth. And again, Dave's mom gives him a little, little scratch along the cheek there. Nice job, mom. But didn't I fuck his hand up? Like, wouldn't he not be able to hold the sword if his hand was... Yeah, no, he lets go. The, he goes flying back from the sword and you're now holding the sword. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. He does not have a sword right now. Yeah. All right. Snedrick, you were up, sir. All right. I could throw the fucking. I could. I could use a spell to throw that sword back at him, like point for. But I'm not going. I thought to. you were going to say I could use that spell to throw the sword back to him, and I was like, "You don't need to <laughs> even things up." No, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, sir. No, here's not, your sword. not back to him. Back at him. No, I'm going to cast aura of vitality. A healing energy radiates in an aura of thirty foot radius from me. Until the spell ends, the aura moves with me, centered on me. I can use a bonus action to cause one creature in the aura, including myself, to regain 2d6 hit points. Ooh. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to regain 2d6 hit points. Fantastic. Do that. And don't forget to mark off the slot on your wand, because that's a wand power. I kind of want to carry the wand sometimes. Just, I mean, <laughs> I feel like somebody <laughs> always carries it. I'll trade you blunderbuss for wand. <laughs> you have... You have Eldritch Blast. You don't even need a... Can we trade... so boring. Can we trade stuff? It is super boring. I don't see an item section. Where is this th thing that has the one slots? I Yeah, let me see. I might have not put it on the recent version. I mean, I could just keep it... Tra I can keep track of it. It's two. <laughs> yeah, right? it's two. So I, <laughs> I can count that. I just don't know how many... You've got four. You've got... Okay, I got four. All right. Actually, all no, right. you've got five now because... Uh, <laughs> You put the sunstone in there. You know what I've been doing? I've been using fingers. <laughs> and I feel like it's fun. So, all right. So, and then I'm going to, but then I'm going to cast the two D6. Give myself some, some juice here. Give myself six juice. Ooh. Boom. That's some juicy. Caboosey. Gross. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking gross. Doing my best here. <laughs> Or hot. I'm not sure which. I feel like Bridget would think that's hot. I mean, Anna thinks that's hot. Okay, but like well, just then the way Bridget he said thinks it. that's hot. <laughs> All right. So Murloc is up next. He looks around. He sees Cress sort of uh, lying there without a sword. He sees the claw standing over him. Sees the damage that everyone's taken. And he says, I have to admit, I don't lava how this fight is going and he Ugh. places his hands on the ground below him and you watch as lava melts out from his hands and sort of covers the platform in between all of you claw the make floor it is lava guys the floor is lava <laughs> oh wait 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 each pro each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed the strength throw again oh yeah he does okay he's flapping in the wind he's like <laughs> yeah, you got to figure with the squid mouth, that's a real pain yeah. in the ass. DC's 15, right? That's 14. 14. Oh, okay. Well, he saved that. Damn it. All right. Claw, make a dexterity saving throw to dodge out of the way of the lava for me. Oh, three plus seven. Three plus seven. You know what? I'll give it to you, but you land... You land back with your group, I assume, as opposed to trying to jump towards. 
Murloc or towards Chris. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure. You yeah. land back with your group, but I'm going to have you land prone. So you're going to land. You're going to have to. Your movement action is going to be a stand back up. Will you jump like kind of away from us so that we're spread out a little bit? I mean, you're all now cornered by the lava. He can't spread that far. If he jumps too far away, he'll jump into lava. Can you jump into lava? <laughs> <laughs> really throw him off. <laughs> you did say you want to do something he wasn't going to expect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll throw you some snowballs once you're down there. <laughs> <laughs> or some magic rock. I'm just perched on the sword. The sword's in the lava and I'm perched on the sword. All right. Lord Cress stands up and pulls a light crossbow off his back and says, thank you, Murloc. I've always enjoyed a pheasant hunt. So he's going to take two shots at you, Claw. That's a natural one. All right. It pings <laughs> off of the wall behind you, Claw, and then off one of the stalactites into the ceiling and right into his leg. And he's like, motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> this is going. I cannot emphasize enough how badly this is going. It is <laughs> really, I have been planning this vengeance for like, God, the whole fucking campaign. And it is just, I'm really fucking the goose here. All right. <laughs> You'll want to put pressure on the wound. Oh, how dare you. Oh. <laughs> Shot number two. <laughs> I'm not fucking. I wish I could fuck. I'm going to screen cap my fucking screen. It's another natural goddamn one. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. It he shoots himself in the off. other foot. <laughs> he flies into the <laughs> other leg. Oh, just <laughs> statistically speaking, that seems so unlikely. Have you ever seen oh. Kung Fu Hustle? <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Oh, all right. Fuck it. Shit. Oh, Murloc, you got this right. Not really, man. What the fuck was that? I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, I just, Having the worst day. Bridget, you're up. <laughs> okay. If this is bad podcasting, but the entire rest of the round, I just want you to picture Crest Darkmore being like, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Fucking shit. All right. So, uh, Snedrick, how are you doing health-wise? Do you need me to heal you? I'm at 20. Okay. I, I think I'll, I'll hold off doing Ice Storm. As long as they don't hit us with more lightning bolts. I, I, I think I should, just because Murloc's doing fine right now, I'm going to heal you, and I'm going to keep concentrating on that thing, on the wind. Nice. I'm going to do Cure Wounds on Snedrick. I'll do it at level four, so I'm just going to pat you on the head. We gnomes find that a bit condescending, but under the circumstances, I'll allow it. I'm a dwarf, so I'm also kind of sm small. Yeah, but we're really the dwarves of dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't have my Snedrick voice. I'm just a little off. <laughs> That's okay. That's uh, You're going to carry for 18. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you. All right. Anything else? You know what? That's that. That's all I'm going to do for you. All right, Dave, you are up. Okay, what's the situation with the lava? How much of the floor? There's a big pool of lava, I would say, spanning. There's like five feet that you guys are all standing in. 20 feet of molten, bubbling, hot lava in between you and Darkmoor is on one side of the platform. Murloc is on the other. And there's a line of lava down the, like, down the middle of the circle that we're a in? A pool. Pool of lava, yeah. Is there like a couch we could jump on? You could make an athletics trick to try to jump across a pit of lava. Or like a side table or... No, there's not a side. Or like a coffee table. No, no side table to the sacrificial altar. Console. <laughs> a windowsill. Bookcase. Plinth. I'm going to use plinth again. My dad always yelled at me for trying to do the, the bookcase. There's no vases. Uh, you used a vase? Blunderbuss him. Oh, my God. Is there a vase? No, there's no vase. <laughs> You said that, not me. I know it's hard sometimes <laughs> to tell. <laughs> so. All right. I would like to press your luck. <laughs> there we go. Seems like you guys are really merlocked in on only making jokes about his name. <laughs> just throwing out there two villains. Big double fight going on. Well, I just thought he would be more impressive. <laughs> Merloc Cress Monster. Use both. It's not used. <laughs> I 
If there was a dragon here, that would be really, that would just be perfect. No dragon. I'm, I'm editing dragon. that out. You guys are going to be surprised. <laughs> Fuck you. We're going to be surprised by what? Nothing. Jews. <laughs> Did you say Jews? Yeah, you're going to be surprised by Jews. By Jewish people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said juice. Sorry, guys. I have to pause the record for a little while. I got to rewrite this dragon as a bunch of juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you, it is, it's not going to go well for our podcast, but I'm a man of my word. And I think a lot of po people on this podcast know to be terrified of a rising swarm of Orthodox Jews. Can I say, of everything that just happened, I felt like your little song was anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, just jumping in to thank you once again for listening to the show. Man, we have so much fun making it. We're glad you enjoy listening to it. Hey, if you're enjoying the show and you haven't gotten the chance to toss us some money yet, why not head over to patreon.com forward slash D and D minus all spelled out. You can give us as little as a dollar an episode. That's just one dollar a month right now. Although we are getting pretty close to that two episodes a month goal. So that's another reason to sign up to give us money. But for just a dollar a month, you get access to behind the scenes things like a Dungeon Master's Corner and a small game. We played Lasers and Feelings. There's a ton of extra content back there. Plus, you get the episode a day early and you're going to want to find out what happens in these episodes a day early for these next couple of months. Uh, let me tell you. All right. Also, hey, if you don't have the money to spare, that's fine. We understand. Why not head over to wherever you get your podcasts and give us a five-star review or five smiley faces. Whatever podcast player you're using, give us five or the maximum number of the things. It helps new people find out about the show, and it's also just a nice thing for us as the cast to let us know you're enjoying the show. All right. We will see you the first Friday after the first Wednesday of next month because that's how Patreon makes us schedule our show now. Thanks so much for listening. What's going on, Dave? I'm creating fake Jews over here. What's going on? I, I was just, I didn't want to interfere with that. So just giving you plenty of time, <laughs> ally, <laughs> to do that. But I believe I would like to cast Command. Ooh. So I get to command a creature that I can see within range. Target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. Just keep in mind that Murloc has been notoriously wisdom filled. Yeah, go after Cress. Oh, you think I used the spell on Cress? Yeah, because Murloc's a uh, wizard, so he'll have he's really a high mind flare. He's just going to block. And Cress is like shooting himself in the own <laughs> in his own dick. I feel like Cress. We just let him go. He's going to shoot Murloc <laughs> next, right? Like, <laughs> like right in the dick. Oh, that might hurt Carl though. <laughs> okay, I would definitely go after Cress. Yeah. Uh, the spell has no effect if the target is undead. Everybody's not undead, correct? I mean, as far as I can follow the grammar, yes, everyone's alive. <laughs> I feel like you just asked if everybody was dead. Dead, yeah. <laughs> I've tried that. I tried that play a few times, and Eli didn't let me. <laughs> Were you hoping that if I got that wrong, all the characters in our D and D game would die? Ha, they're all dead. We win now. <laughs> Podcast over. Phoenix down. Battle over. Okay, and they all understand my language. Yeah. Okay. Either that or they've learned some very specific phrases. <laughs> Final answer. Do you guys think I should go after Cress or Murloc? Cress sucks. I feel like he's just helping us. Yeah, no, I feel like we go after Cress so that we can, like, you know, t take out the weak guy, the, the guy that's already weakened. Or blunderbuss Murloc. Wait, you're suggesting I use a blunderbuss? I, I'm suggesting no one's around him that you... Uh, his mom's back there. Oh, fuck. No, actually, mom's in the middle, so she, she's actually in the safe distance. Oh, she's in the, Oh, okay. All right, I gotcha. Oh, she's like floating above the lava in, no, on the table? No, man, she's on no, a table. No. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I mean. The you table is not like her up consumed. and floating her and fucking... <laughs> no, 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 but the table didn't like light, so light on fire. My, it's fine. Yeah. So that our wind didn't push her. Okay. She's safe. Yeah, it's not like lava can melt rock. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I, I would like, mm, yeah, okay, I'll go after Cress. I'm going to cast Command on Cress. I'm going to try to get him to dive into the lava. 
Okay. Well, you get one word. Let me roll for him first. Why not jump? Yeah. D- Swim. Submerge. Submerge. Uh, let me roll for him first. Let me roll for him first. Lava. <laughs> Where we all start <laughs> celebrating how we're going to... Go lava. Go lava. <laughs> that is a three. So, yeah. Oh, he's doing this. You get one word. <laughs> he's doing this. <laughs> What's the word? I feel like you guys, you guys good with submerge? I feel like that's the only thing that could be submerged within. I, I feel like that's right. Sure. sure. Yeah. Submerge. All right. He will take that action on his next turn. Blah, you are up. What about Carl? Oh, Carl, thank you. Carl, what are you, what are you doing? You're stuck, in, you're stuck in the ball still, right? Yeah, I got him. I got him right in the sack. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so you want to attack a different part or you just want to like pull back and do it again? I I mean, honestly, I would love to attack a different part. Can I tell you? You sure? <laughs> I attack this part all the time. And I, can I t- I'm gaining some like familiarity and that's what upsets me the most. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Sounds like it's time for a horn up the ass. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a little good at horning people in the dick and I would love to just go for like the heart. Are you starting to like appreciate this guy in some sense because you're getting exactly close? right, like, like cock home syndrome or something? <laughs> hey, <laughs> so can't help but notice you didn't say Merlock home syndrome there, right? Because that wouldn't line up with it. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Two <laughs> villains just saying lots of puns to go, to go around for everybody. All right, he sucks. I will you do pop back out and go for his like squid mouth area then. All right, going for the squid mouth, which is flapping in the wind. Still, I just want to point that out. It is flapping in the wind. Yeah, that's true. Stay up. That will miss. Ah, Carl, come on. I'm sorry. Right I was there. It was. It's so undick like. I was like, what? Which way do I go? It's, I, I just got thrown <laughs> it's off. It's very dick like. He has tentacles. His face is tentacles. I it's like a bunch of dicks. D- That's no your dick has. The fact that there's a lot of them makes it very undick like. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Different lives, Carl. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Claw, you're up. Okay, I am going to. I'm going to try and run around the lava to get to Murloc and attack, but I'm trying to see if I have enough like movement distance to do so. Like he's going to do like a, you're going to do, you a, do wall a wall run? run? Yes. All right. Give me a acrobatics, not athletics, right? Yeah. It would be kind of acrobatic. A wall run is definitely acrobatics. Give me a acrobatics check. And yeah, you can glide. I guess that probably helps. 23. Yeah. All right. What What is your speed? It's a, So it's a 20. It's a 25 foot diameter. So then the circumference is like pi, pi times. So like 80, 70, like high. What's your well, speed? Well, I do. I have something that gives me, I think, more distance. That's why I was going to check. I think I have something that's like fleet footed or something like that. Oh, so he has wings. Like, so if he gets halfway, he can glide the rest you of the way. You can fly now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you fly too. Wait, what? Yeah, remember? Since when? Nitten gave you the metal things, the start of the last arc. Nope, not at all. Okay. Not even a little well, bit. Well, you can fly now. So I can fly. Cool. Yep. So this all seems a little unnecessary. That was a great 23 that you rolled. Yeah, so 23 acrobatics. <laughs> Is that enough? Do I need to do anything besides that to get over to him? No, that's it. You run along the wall, and do you want to, like, running kick Murloc in the head? Oh, yeah, it's like Trinity. I'll do a, an unarmed kick, an arm strike kick, and then I'll do a second unarmed strike and then for my bonus action, I'm going to do Flurry of Blows. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So that'll be two more unarmed strikes. Nice. Roll those attacks for me. Who are you hitting? Murloc or Crest? Murloc. Nice. Another 20! Jesus. <laughs> 27. Mm-hmm. 22. That'll hit. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, not as good. Nine. That will not hit. And a 17. Nice. That, that'll also hit. Wow. So I want everyone to picture here, Claw goes running along the wall. Like, make him laugh. Lands a perfect kick into the side <laughs> of Murloc's head. Couple of double strikes to the gut. That's such a good reference. <laughs> and that song from The Matrix that we all thought was super dope. is playing in the background. You guys remember that one? <laughs> and then you listen to it as an adult and you're like, there must have been more to this song than this. But no, it's just the... But it's cool. It's cool in the moment. Roll that damage. Nine, five, and nine. That's 14. 23. 23. 
Damn it. Damn, that was fast, man. Merlock. Oh, I was doing it while he was doing the whole song thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, Noah. Oh, no, no. I was watching him do oh, it. Oh, you were watching. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. I, I was also <laughs> counting on that. I, I did it in my head in real time. I don't know if you could tell because it was much, much slower. You went 9-5 <laughs> first. That's why it slowed you down. Yeah. You got to go 9-9 nine, nine first. Yes. And then oh, I can't do that legally. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric, you're up. All right. So I can still do like a spell and then use my bonus action for the healing thing. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to use Agonazar Scorcher mm -hmm. on the, as a third level spell. A line of flame 30 feet long and five feet wide is going to emanate from me in a direction I choose. That direction would be like where it would hit Murloc, but not Claw. You must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed throw, he will take 4d8 of fire damage, half as much on a successful. What's that save? 15? 14. 14. Okay. That is an 11. So he does not save. Go ahead and roll that damage. That's going to be 11. Two ones in there. That's not bad. 11. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to do 2d6 healing to uh, Bridget. Nice. Oh, I don't need healing. Don't, don't you? You took a hit at the beginning, didn't you? Sure, I'll take it. I mean, if you want, but. But I'm, I've still got 43. Yeah, I don't really need it myself, so. All right. Cool. Thanks. I could use some if you're just doing a healing <laughs> thing. I shot Six. myself in the legs. Six. You got it. Thank you. You just want to throw it. Chris. Yeah, that just not much. It, it, it I heard you the first time. I heard you. Get back down there. The first time. <laughs> you, know, you know you heard me say submerge. I, I heard you and I plan on submerging. It seems like a great idea. All right. Nothing else matters, Chris. It does seem like that to you. Murloc's turn. Man, this would have been the time to use the crest fallen choke. Damn it. <laughs> 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 oh, he's you're right by him, blah. So he's gonna say, I have to admit, how this is going is rather shocking. I thought I did I say that one I mean, already? Like, didn't you use that one already? No, I, no, I no, did at the electrify. beginning. Electrify. Oh, I did. Uh, it's okay. basically the same thing. Okay, it, is, I, it is. It is. Feel like it's going a little merlocking. Mm. No. no. No, no. I, I have notes, you know, maybe we could workshop this another time. I just didn't realize we were. You know what? I, I remembered when I was recovering, I was like, get some good puns like in the chamber. I but we've been making them about you. If you really want to, to roast us back, it would be about our names. Yeah. So you got like Snedrick. You can like Snedrick roll us. You've got a uh, claw or nope, claw, yeah. right? No, I feel it. I'm Dave. I feel it. So here, give me that claw. What? What? Huh? A clock? <laughs> Do you want a clock? You want us to hand you a clock? Let me hand me a clock. Yes, hand me a clock. Twenty-two. <laughs> uh, which means he is going to do what? Two d eight lightning damage to you, Claw. I don't think he meant Glock twenty-two. I think he actually rolled a twenty-two after saying clock. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was trying but to. But he doesn't this realize up. that he did it. <laughs> A pun with a pun. <laughs> six damage. Claw, you take six six shocking damage. <laughs> got him. Got I don't know if you guys noticed I got your friend pretty good there. Glock twenty two, that's not a real gun, is it? That can't be a real gun. I know Glock is and twenty two is a size of bullet. Yeah. Right? Glock twenty two is definitely a real gun. Okay. Cool. Good job, Eli. I'm looking it up on the Glock store now. You can get one for $499 delivered. Oh. There's a guy <laughs> at my door with a gun <laughs> right now. God what the damn. Fuck? Dick Sporting Goods just handed me a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not have this now. There's, a, there's no way to click away. <laughs> God damn it, America. So, Chris is up. He is going to, as commanded, attempt to dive into this lava. Submerge, not dive, submerge. Full submerge. Is there a, a different, he's going to dive. Is there, yeah, he doesn't do a shallow it's dive. He goes all the way in if he can. Walk, yeah. walk, belly flop. walk in and lie down. <laughs> belly flop. So you want him to walk. No, when, there's no way he would not. He's going to. He needs to get fully submerged. I'm adding color. That's not a, that's not a like correction <laughs> situation. I'm adding humor of in the in the form of a swan dive. Is he do? I would like him to do a can opener. I don't. But he doesn't have to. He does not have to roll for that. What if he does a wall run and then dives in at the end? Right. Exactly. Oh. But no, no, he's not doing that. Anyways, let me restart. That was fucking insane. 
<laughs> edit that shit out. <laughs> you know, you know, because he has to, I want to make sure he gets his hair in there. He's just doing a fucking. <laughs> God, people get all the way wet from a dive. I'll make sure can opener goes in. He's don't worry. Thank I'll make you, sure can that gets opener. <laughs> Anyways, he dives. He hits the cold stone because the lava is an illusion. <gasps> Oh. oh, you should have had him jump off the pedestal. There's, that's do, I do that in one word. <laughs> Wait, he just landed on like nothing different. It's just an illusion. Is that what you said? Yes, the lava is an illusion. But there's like a giant pit behind us, right? But would the illusion stop him? He's then got to find something to submerge in, right? He has to submerge in something. He didn't submerge. Good fucking point. He thought he was submerging. As long as he tries to do the thing, he's followed the command. It's okay. There's water on the, uh, down uh, below on the cliff, off the cliff. I feel like <laughs> Murloc would have told him ahead of time what was going to be the situation with any lava that nope. he might. Oh conjure. yeah, because we tell each other all the time what we're about to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we talk. It we notoriously don't talk about it beforehand. Keith, do you think that there are three shitty podcasters on Murloc and Cress's <laughs> side <laughs> arguing with me on some other audio track about what Cress and Murloc are doing? That is exactly what I'm picturing. Did you just call us shitty podcasters? I feel like you just called us shitty. He said three, so that means one of us is good. <laughs> me. Oh, okay. All right. It's Wait, definitely I know, not me. I know which one he's talking about. It's okay. It's okay now. <laughs> I feel like we're beating Ben Shapiro and Joe Rogan and fucking whoever, Jordan Peterson <laughs> oh. at D&D right now. Bridget, you're up. All right. So now that I'm not worried about putting the lava out, I'm going to cast Shatter at Murloc and hopefully not get clogged. Okay, going for the, the technicality special just above his Aye. head to get him, but not get... Claw? Well, Claw's the same height. I'm going to do just behind him, just on the other side of him than Claw. Claw is not his same height. As we have established earlier, Claw is a three-foot chicken. Oh, my God. Is he actually? Yes, we've established that. That's I do not so remember that. Canon. Fucking adorable. Don't, don't remember that. Wait, how tall am I? Uh, you're like two feet tall because you're a norm. Okay. I could have sworn I was like six feet tall. Are that's you six what feet I was. Yeah, tall? that's what they all said. I guess you look <laughs> six feet tall to me. <laughs> I could have sworn he was six feet. Anyway. Shatter cast. So that's going to be 21 damage. Is that just he takes it? Is there a dexterity saving there? A sudden loud ringing noise painfully intense erupts on the point of your choice. Within range, each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a constitution saving throw. That's all I needed. Constitution saving throw. Aha. There you go. Bam. 15? No, it's a 14. Okay. Let me roll that constitution saving throw. That's a seven. So yeah, he's going to take that yeah. damage. All right, 21 damage. 20. Thunder damage on a failed save. Also, any inorganic material that is not being worn or held is destroyed if it's made out of crystal, stone, metal. My crystal collection. I knew I shouldn't have brought it. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't I wearing it like I usually do? Dave, you are up next. All right. So I feel like the move is either Blunderbuss or Eldritch Blast. Well, now we've got Claw over there. You got Claw, you got Carl. But you could go for Crest. Crest, I think, is... Yeah, he's yeah he's he dove into where the lava was. Yeah, you could probably go for him. Yeah, you might hit your mom. But... Lying in the center of the floor. You don't seem to care. <laughs> <I feel>... <laughs> <laughs> dive roll. Dude, it's the perfect time to do the fucking side dive. Mom, you doing good over there? Doing great, honey. Did you see I scratched him? You're the best. Scratched him twice. How's your OnlyFans doing? It's pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. They started taking a higher percentage over the last couple of months. Really? Yeah. It's like went from like 2% to like 7%. It's really affecting. That's a big cool. jump. That's wow. huge. That's the problem with single platform platforms. Yeah. Do you ever read the exit surveys though? Those are fucking annoying, right? Those, oh God. Those are the worst. I can't imagine. what I miss? We're talking about Dave's mom's OnlyFans. We're talking about my OnlyFans. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Oh, wait. Did we win? No, no, <laughs> no, you didn't win. Oh, did uh, did Murloc go yet? No, nothing. Literally, nothing nope. has managed. Oh, to okay, nice. <laughs> no, up? we're just talking about OnlyFans. That's it. Talking about OnlyFans. C cool. cool. Okay, so I'm gonna. <laughs> hey, mom, this has been this has been fun. I'm gonna do a thing. So uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. I feel like do I hit Cress? Try to knock him out. Finish him off. Sure. You asking your mom or the room? I'm asking everybody. Any opinions? Yeah, Chris is good. <laughs> I mean, 
Murloc is the the bigger threat. So if you can get him, I'd do it. But a- well, so Dave, I've actually got a, a great news for you. You are now fifth level, which means you get two beams now for your Eldritch Blast. Boom. Yeah, that's happening. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, is he still commanded? No. 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 That was the other thing we talked about while you were gone. Cool. Yeah, so that's happening. Eldritch Blast, final answer. Mom, what do you think? Do I Eldritch Blast the Murloc guy or the... Just keep the podcast moving, honey. Whatever you gotta <laughs> do. Just get the fucking laughs. You know what mommy always says. Right. Ma, keep the... Get, get the fucking laughs. Right. You always do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the Murloc. All right. Two beams. Roll those two attacks for me. All right. So so 18 to hit. That'll do it. And I'm going to roll it again. Oh, that's a 23 to hit. Yeah. Okay. That'll do it. Two big hits. Okay. And now I roll the one to the right of that. Yeah. But do that twice. Boom. All right. That's a six. Mm-hmm. And boom, an 11. So he gets hit with this first blast and he sort of teeters at the edge for a moment and he says, so I guess you could say I'm not merlocked in for a second season. And then the second <gasps> blast takes him off his feet and he falls down oh, shit. into the cave below. You already used the locked in, Joe. <laughs> no! What? Did you have another one? Lock and key? Yep. There you go. There you go. Still kind of the same joke, but okay. All right. Next up is Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, what do you want me to do? Yeah, you swung and missed on the face last time, but that guy's gone now. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, felt kind of bad. Yeah. The guy who's left, uh, kind of suck. He just, I feel like he's, I feel like we should almost just let him, you know, hurt himself until he dies. He's like on the ground. Yeah. He's right there on the ground. What do you want to do? Do you want to just like mess with him a little bit? I, or, I, you know, it feels horn I, up I, the ass. Like, come on. He's laying prone. Horn up the ass has never been do more. Do you want to untie? His mom. Yeah, I could untie the mom. Uh, you want me to untie your mom? Mom, do you want you want to have Carl untie you really quick? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, if you could have Carl untie me, that'd be great. Yeah, might as well. I mean, I feel like we could just we just go do that after we kill this guy too, right? That's true. Carl, I just you know stab stab the guy wherever you want. <laughs> stab him. All right, cool. Uh, Do you hear that, Dave's mom? You built your hopes up. <laughs> you're no even, mom, you're fine, right? <laughs> Look, great. He sort of flits over, flits over to Lord Chris. Hey, Lord Chris, and he's like, "Hello, Carl. How's it going? Uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been a wacky year, I imagine. I imagine. So, um, I'm gonna stab you with my horn. You understand? It's kind of part of the job. Oh no, no, I get it. I get it. And Carl stabs him with his horn, <laughs> and he misses. So he sort of stabs next. You can tell what Carl takes a dive. Carl, Carl. doesn't feel good about it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Carl, I tried. Bonus action, go no. untie my mom, please. I try. No, I can't. I already used my action to stab my <laughs> former master in the back while he's on the ground. Can you do any <laughs> bonus actions? <laughs> yep. Wait, Cress was your former master? Yeah. he. Remember the Dark Moors were in charge and then Dave took over the firstborn son with the, you say, you know, I was hanging out with the Dark Moors. Yeah, but but I thought he took over the firstborn son instead of Press. Right, but like I used to hang out around Dark Moor Castle with oh, Gladys okay. and the mirrors. I was, that's, it's been with the family for a while. Yeah. As your bonus action, can you like block the crossbow with your horn? Like, can you stick your horn in the, like the... I don't get a bonus action. Okay. You don't get any bonus action? I tried to stab him. <laughs> You just made me stab this guy on the ground. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you need any bonus. You actions. missed from like point blank. How did that even happen? That's, you took a dive. It's a weird thing. I don't know. Who's to say? Kesara, right? Claw, you're up. <laughs> okay. So he's prone on the ground, correct? Mm-hmm. I feel like Carl should get advantage roll. <laughs> Carl actually did get advantage. He still missed. Carl, wow. Hey. Is there a way, like, if I if I grapple him on the ground, is there a way of, like, completely kind of incapacitating him? Probably not completely, no. Okay. But if I grapple him on the ground... He will need to use a strength contest on his turn, too. And everybody's spells are pretty much, like, area of effect stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, he's just a guy now. He has doesn't have a sword. 
He does have a crossbow. Yeah, he has a light crossbow. Oh, yeah. sure. Sure. And he hurt his face, right? D diving at what oh, he yeah, thought was Oh, yeah, right lava. into the floor. And his hand is burned. His right hand, or one of his sword hand is burned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's your fiend? I I'll never tell. Oh, do you want me to like grapple him and we can kind of like interrogate him? Sure. Yeah, waterboard cress. <laughs> Give him a water cress. Water cress. <laughs> oh! The other thing one. I could do is I could try and steal the crossbow. Dude, no. Oh, yeah, no. Take my fucking crossbow, man. That's your greatest <laughs> weakness. Yeah, get on over here. Fucking take my crossbow. Because then, like, what can he do, right? Like, he would try and fight us with, like, nothing, right? Well, he'd probably just have some other weapon that Eli would decide. No, he'd probably hurt himself less if we take his crossbow. <laughs> I don't think he's going to roll another one. I don't think he's going to roll one again. That's true. What are the odds? One in twenty. One in twenty. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I know Stupid. That's on radio forever now. <laughs> That's not what I sound like. I sound like this. I sounded like that. Does he have any other metal on him at all, or no? <laughs> no, he doesn't have any other metal on him. Okay, cool. Then I'm just gonna do what I did last time: two unarmed strikes. No, do and the then... torture thing. <laughs> Heath, I really wish that you wouldn't suggest that so well. Every time <laughs> This is a very appropriate. I know a lot of the time it's not. Yeah. No, when we're booking <laughs> venues for live shows, it's way less appropriate. You need a new catchphrase, man. Let me just tell. Uh... All right. You get advantage on both of those attacks. So go ahead and roll those attacks. Okay. But I'm also going to do, as my bonus action, Flurry of Blows, which is two more as well. Yeah. Great. Okay. So another critical. Love it. Wow. 27. Ask him questions between each hit. 25. Yep. Who? Yeah, like that. Is. 16. Yep. Your. Oh, okay. There we go. Critical loss. Mm -hmm. Fiend best friend. But do I get to roll advantage on that one or no? Yeah, you get to roll four more times and we'll take the four highest. Okay. 23. These are all hits. Yeah, you're getting a full round of hits, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. A 13. Mm hmm. Ooh, that was almost another 20, but 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you already have four hits. You're good. Yeah, but he might get another critical. Oh, yeah, good point. 16. All right, so yeah, that's four hits, one critical. Roll that damage for me. Okay, so the first one's the critical. Yep. Ask him a question. 12. 12. 7. 7. 9. 9. Who do you work for? <laughs> and then... Oh, nice. 10. 10. I have no idea what any of the math... So, I've forgotten everything I've just 38. done. 38. So, cool. let me just paint a little picture here. <laughs> Fucking Chris Darkmore <laughs> is lying on the ground and Claude goes over <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's back up a little bit to, to, to keep in mind that like this is the vengeance he has dreamed of his entire adult life. Right. right? He's yeah, been... Okay. He As an 18-year-old at his 18th birthday, <laughs> a demon appeared to Dave Pig shit instead and gave him his magic powers been trying to kill you all season and now a bird, a three foot to six foot chicken, we're not sure <laughs> is just, just kicking the crap out of him it's just, you remember Kingpin when he slams that guy's head in the door <laughs> it's just well look, this is a comedy D&D podcast, but I just want I want a Paul to settle over our show for a moment well, I'll say this. The first three are punches. The fourth one is like the just like the most violent ball tap I could possibly oh, do. Oh, all right. Top yeah. of his head. <laughs> so he goes rolling across from your final ball tap to the edge of the platform, the sprawling underground cavern stretching out into the blackness beneath him and says, Bested again by pig shit. Well, face crested again. I may not be able oh. to take care of your mother, pig shit, but I can still ring the dinner bell. And with that, he rolls himself backwards and over the ledge into the darkness. Is there going to be a dragon? There's going to be a fucking dragon. There is a pause like a dragon. that feels like it stretches for hours. And then in the distance, you hear the unmistakable snap of giant jaws. The earth beneath your feet rumbles, the cave and <laughs> castle shaking around you, and then the five heads of the dragon god Tiamat oh. rise out of the darkness. I'm so surprised. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's, an, it's a dragon. It's an ethnically problematic dragon. <laughs> Up, and Weird. one of them's wearing a yarmulke now because of what Dave did earlier. 
<laughs> one, not all five, but one. Up and up until they are towering over you. One of each color of dragon, their mouths each laced with a different the kind podcast was of a production deadly of breath. Thunderstorm, LLC, copyright Before 2022, you can say or do anything, Dave, the purple dragon on your belt shudders with magic, springs away from your waist, and transforms into a purple dragon with just enough room for five on its back. It turns to all of you and says, I'm the wool dash of mizzle. Let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? The wool dash of mizzle? <laughs> oh, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode. Morgan, I'm sorry if those seconds suck. Um, the fucking light on my Zoom went off at three, and I was like, ah! Yeah, that's why you got to use the <laughs> Zencaster use the Zen Zen They're better seconds. seconds. Yeah. They're better seconds. Yeah, better seconds. It's true. Or, you know, keep a beat in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you keep a beat in your so head. So unscientific. <laughs> if I could keep a beat in your head, we wouldn't need you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I love you. <laughs> I got so many patrons. I left that divorce joke into the last episode. I know. And so many people were like, are you guys worried? Literally, I'm break up. literally like 30 messages. Jesus. I was like, yeah. look, my friends, if I am getting divorced from my wife, you know how I am not going to announce it <laughs> at all. <laughs> In the post beep outtake of D&D minus. She's going to shoot myself like a gentleman. Anyways. All <laughs> Roll right. for settlement. Roll for initiative. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2022. All rights reserved.